net. The score. Chance for the break the other way. Step us into the zone. Step us shot. Just missed. A worm eater on the ice that was just wide of that post on the far side. Weidman got it back into the middle. Two on two the other way. Wristed. That one's going to go wide. A setup pass intended. Mealy trying to get it out in front. Off the back checking job. Brandon Yip had it. Yip will dump it back into the corner and chase. Yip puts the hit on. Puck roll back up onto the point. Driver got it to the near side. Again, a centering oh. pass. On goal. A misdirected puck results in the first goal of the game, Boston University. I'll tell you, Gary, the same thing we saw Thursday night. The Boston University defensemen are doing a great job. They're not shooting at the net. They know there's tons of traffic in front of the net, so they're actually shooting wide, hoping for a deflection. And that's exactly what happened right here. Conley gets the goal. There's a the shot by Rosovsky. Now watch, that's going to miss the net. It actually goes in off a fifth or 25 or 27, goes back and hits the goaltender, and then Conley gets a rebound. Bad, bad luck for record because he made the uh, initial. Off this draw, it'll come back to the line. BU able to hold it in and uh, broke it up. Here's Miami's chance. Jared Palmer in, drags it, and knocked off the puck as the power play is over. So they're back to five on five hockey. Into the middle, a shot. Banked right in front. Backhander covered. It's loose. Score! Miami gets it. Gary Stephan. Well, just what the doctor ordered, Gary. Miami needed something like that. BU had so many great chances on their power play. They caught a break. They didn't score. They missed some chances. Palmer made a great play defensively, killing that penalty. They end up going in to the BU end, and now a little bit of a ping pong, a little bit of a bouncing ball type goal right there. But again, battles were won in front of the net. You see uh, players right there winning battles. There's a loose puck right there. Now Mealy wins a battle, and all of a sudden Steffes comes in and has a wide open net. But just hard work. Roder comes in from the point, 24 red. Just hard work. Trying to do a little solo shot down the middle. Lost control. All alone. 2 on 0. And a glove save made. Knocked away on the far side. Justin Messier denied again. Let's go the other way. Lawrence up. Lawrence in. Lawrence shot. Lawrence just missed it. He went for the far side and it went wide. 31st NCAA appearance. The third most in Division I hockey. You can tell Mike uh, Rizzioni is nervous up there, Barry, watching this game. Mike was self snow to an Eskimo, and I can guarantee you he was a great guy to talk to these kids. He'll have them pumped up, ready to go. We are 1-1, six minutes left to go here in the second period. Intercepted, BU's putting the pressure on, down low shot. Ah, oh, what hit the post? That comes off the near side. Try another blast, that one ripped wide on the short side. Colby Cohen, pass back into the middle. Luke, who we haven't heard from, brought all in, camper shot, rebound, score! Well, Gary, I've heard you yell Tommy Wingle's name before. Thursday night, you did it a couple times. We talked about uh, Miami, their forwards. They all contribute offensively and defensively. Typical goal for Miami, just like they scored the first one. Won some battles, made some nice plays, but they just shot at the net, and they won the battles. There's a loose puck. There's the battles being won. People back by, for BU, but nobody does the job. Shattenkirk's there. He goes for the shot block. Wingles ends up getting the loose puck off Shattenkirk's pads. And Milan is lost there. He doesn't know where the rebound went. And it goes right on to Wingles' stick at the side of the net. Great job by Miami. BU got a University. They're down to 4.13 left to go. The turnover creates a two-on-two. Vogelay two. scores! Just off the bench, Trent Vogel. seven on the power play and you have two goals in the game shot from the slot the deep slot that's where you want to shoot it from you, you got to put pucks at the net you don't do it on the power play do it five on five there's a mistake by Shattenkirk there's a turnover now here's the shot a little bit of a screen by the defenseman 
Right inside the far post. What a goal. Well, they didn't get it on the power play, but it didn't take defense as soon as they get it in Miami's end. Banged off the wall, far side by Lawrence. There you see the goaltender back in. Milan played it and not very well off the far side. Stephens was there to get it. Stephens has got one of the goals. Cleared into the middle, but not out of the zone. Melee had dumped it in, and it'll be up and out. With the other end goaltender heading to the bench. Shot just wide. Their leading goal scorer, Lawrence, with a chance. Empty net at the other end again. Played back in by Higgins. He got it down low. Weber intercepted. Weber cleared it around. Kamasani didn't get it out. What a chance down low. Shot goes wide off body. As Conley had the chance, standing right on the doorstep, it hits off the top of the glass, and they say it went out. And now everybody's screaming about where they want the face off. Now, I like this play by Rico Blas. He's not going to call a timeout. You might say, Argo, why doesn't he call a timeout, settle his team down, get fresh guys out there? If you do that, you do the same for the other team. You let Jackie Parker get another uh, board session with his team. You let them uh, regroup. You give them a blow, too. So this is a good call by Reef for not calling a timeout. 119 left to go. And the faceoff. Austin University wins it. A shot. Bounce and a save made. Maybe none bigger. Brandon Yip the chance. Rebound shot wide by Shattenkirk. Boston University with the extra skater getting chances. Yip takes it behind the net. Dropped it off. Backhander. Save made. Held the post. Rebound in the middle. They score! I think McCarthy. There were three Terriers. And it is a 3-2 game with 59.5 left. Well, Gary, Miami had a couple of chances to clear that puck. It was on their sticks. They fumbled it. They didn't get it out. They weren't strong with it. You got to get it out when you're six foot five. There's the hit. There's the one chance. Now, they're right there. Miami has the puck. You see him lose it. Schilling, who's one of their most solid defensemen, that's got to be on the wall. It's got to be around the wall when you get it. Watch right here. You see record just off the post a little bit, right in here. He's given a little bit of room and it goes right underneath his arm. Credit it to Conley as that uh, as Zach Cohen, brother. Credit it to Cohen as it did not come back to McCarthy. Benino and Yip at 19 minutes. Now they need one more. Goalie heads to the bench. Shot wide by Lawrence. Over to get it is Wilson. Empty net at the other end. Boston University still down a goal. Benino sent it to the near side board. They're looking up to the point. Rosowski will send it back to Wilson behind the net. Wilson pinned up along the boards. Great play by Weber. Cut freed up though. Terriers on the move. Off the near side. Warsawski centering. Backhander Wilson wide. Rebound held on to. 20 seconds. In the middle. Pass. Score! Unbelievable! Boston University has scored two goals in the last minute and has tied this game at three. Just sheer talent, Gary. BU's talent showed right there. They didn't panic with the puck. They made great decisions. They just didn't shoot it. Great backdoor play right there. Most players in the slot right there. Gilroy got it. Most guys would have just blasted it. But Matt Gilroy makes a beautiful pass over to Benino. That's what talent gives you, man. Great to the zone. Going back for it. The battle. Roder couldn't get it out of there at the point. They'll go back and forth with it. Lined up, shot, deflected, score! Cohen shot goes in, and Boston University is your Division I champion. Right there, Shattenkirk's walking. He makes that drop pass. Very dangerous play. Only skilled guys will do it. Roder, who's had an unbelievable period, unbelievable game, goes down, tries to block the shot. It actually hits him, goes over the shoulder of record, who never even sees it, and into the far end. Again, the skill of BU, it's just a shame it had to go off Roder, who's been, I think, the best player on the ice for either team. But again, the skill level, Shattenkirk walking, 